So good afternoon ladies and gents, my name is Isabel Hoffman, I'm a lifestyle chef and welcome to our VRV cook along for Father's Day. Now if you would like to stand a chance to win a phenomenal VRV hamper of more than 7,000 Rand, then now is the time to listen because I'm going to demonstrate a very, very easy recipe that you can go and recreate at home in the convenience of your own kitchen. Uh, you can upload the photo, you can tag VRV Avocado as well as myself, Isal Hoffman, Lifestyle Chef on Facebook and Isal Hoffman on Instagram and then you stand a chance to win this phenomenal, phenomenal hamper. So today I decided, well, if I can't bring nature to you, um, I am going to recreate a bit of a scenery because Viavi is all the way from Zanin and because I cannot be in Zanin today, I decided to come to my second home which is Land Rover Centurion and uh, because we have been doing quite a bit with Viavi Avocado, I thought oh well if you are still at work or you are sitting at home then this is the perfect setup. Now um, let's run through the ingredients for this recipe and then I'm actually going to explain to you that you can however put it together as a party platter. You can also make it on the bra and here behind me I have sort of recreated my whole setting already and people it really is as easy as that. Now let's start with our main ingredient which is of course the star of the show. Now the question is always is an avocado just an avocado and the question is most definitely not because Fiavi avocado is not just an avocado. First of all um, it's got less stringy fibers, it's got a more uh, well, a smaller seed which means more food for you at the end of the day but also is, it, it is exceptionally creamy and that is the secret ingredient for today's creamy avocado fondue sauce. So people if you don't have a pen or paper this recipe is also shared of course on all media platforms so be on the lookout for that as well. Now first things first, here in my mixing bowl what is our creamy base? Now usually when you want to create a creamy sauce you need to have some form of base and at this people is only one can of butter beans that I've actually washed, I've drained them properly and then I've mashed them as you can see there in my bowl. Now the reason I'm making use of butter beans is because our creamy base with that is of course one Viavi avocado that we're going to be cutting up into pieces and then mashing and that is quite important because uh, the more proper you can mash it and the more fine the texture uh, you can get this phenomenal avocado the better the texture of your sauce is going to be. Then over to our milk base. Now I'm absolutely a fan of unsweetened almond milk. Reason being almonds is an alkalizer and if you like myself quite on the healthier side of life or maybe trying to eat a little bit more healthier then you need to understand that a lot of red meat and things like that causes acidity. How can you counteract that by pairing it with something that is alkaline? Now avocados is anti-inflammatory, it's a fantastic immune boosting ingredient and with you know, in combination with our butter beans, our unsweetened almond milk, our raw honeys, it really is a guilt-free, healthy recipe that you can put forward or can, you know, present with um, some red meat nibbles like I've done here at the back because I've put a phenomenal spread together with some meatballs, I've got some chicken kebabs here that is of course always a favorite. If you're trying to sort of decide how you're going to, you know, present it, always think how would you consume avocado and with what? And uh, that is usually where you get stuck because avo really just goes with everything. So I've got my chicken kebabs, I've got some skewers here that I've made with little rosa tomatoes and red onion. Reason being, tomatoes is quite, you know, a vibrant burst of flavor, but when you add a little bit of onion to that, it gives a little bit of a pungent taste. Red onion is of course a lot sweeter, um, antiviral, antifungal, it's also phenomenal natural way of getting an immune boosting element because it's a natural antibiotic of course. Then over we've got some beautiful spring rolls that I've also prepared and then yeah at the back people these are little mini corns and why because everyone just loves a little corn on the cob so why not making use of that as a little tupper sort of dip into your dipping sauce that I'm going to show you now how to prepare. Now back to our ingredients we have all got our butter beans like I said this is one can and to that now we're going to add uh, two cups of your unsweetened almond milk. Now over to my almond milk of choice. 
Um, if you are using almond milk for alkalizing purposes, always remember there's a lot of them with sugar in. If you're trying to avoid that, be on the lookout and read labels, people. That is always the one thing I tell people at home. Secondly, they, a lot of them actually contain cornstarch, which, which can also you know cause quite a bit of inflammation so also try and avoid those kind of ingredients as well as your sunflower oil but here goes we're going to make use of two cups just be careful when you are pouring it um, i'm just trying to sort of pour it here in the screen for us so there goes cup number one are you guys making notes because this is real easy right and over to cup number two so, so far we've got a one can of butter beans rinsed and mashed, then two cups of our unsweetened almond milk. Now, if you are not a fan of almond milk and you are not so phased about the alkalizing elements thereof, you can, of course, for this recipe, make use of normal milk as well. And then for a second, just a half a little brief second, I'm going to just move over to the side here because now we need to talk about the star of the show. Now these little green babies is always an absolute favorite but like i said you know you do get the different avocados on the shelf now this is a packet exclusive to woolworths because viava is of course exclusive to willy so be on the lookout for that but now you're going to ask me the question how do you know you are buying a viava avocado i've done the thinking for you because this little naughty sticker this round little black one that looks like this you can find on the packaging and that is going to tell you that you are buying a viavi avocado another way you can sort of differentiate it is because if it's got a quite a dark purpley pebbly skin um that is also you know just a quick way to see it on the shelf um a lot of people tend to think that is maybe an overripe avo and the answer is definitely no because viavi when you buy them off the shelf is ready to eat and they're going to stay like that because it gives an extra 10 days to, um you know to the benefit of the home consumer of course um and that is also another way you know that you can go to the shops and keep phenomenally good quality ingredients at home at all times because let's be honest so often when you buy avocados they tend to be ready all at the same time and then it's like are we making soup are we throwing them away what is the situation so phenomenal people behind the the RV avocados have done the thinking for you because these little babies like i say it's got 10 days of perfect perfect extra shelf life to your convenience of course so i'm going to go over and then grab one of these and take my knife because we have to put it to the test right and carefully cut them open just like that now are you ready for it because again remember the order is all about the smaller seed which means more flesh for you to eat and more food at the end of the day we're gonna twist them open people have a look at that the perfect perfect viavi avocado less stringy fibers all the creaminess to your benefit and that is why it's the reason we're adding it to this phenomenal recipe today now back to my mixing bowl what i'm going to do is make use of a fork of course you are just going to scoop out the flesh or the, the food part of this phenomenal fruit and just start mashing that up quite quickly now, like I said, this is sort of the import, or important part of the recipe because you do want that beautiful, phenomenal creaminess of this sauce. Um, because, yes, you just would love to dip any and everything in it. And if you want to eat it with a spoon, you have got my permission for that. Okay, and now over to our second half, of course. Well, this is the little one with the small little seed going to pop that out and then add it to our other half and then the mash continues always keep a cloth just close by so you can always clean your hands i'm quite you know pedantic when it comes to kitchen hygiene cooking hygiene because i am not in my kitchen today so um, always keep a good clean cloth close by to make sure that you work in perfect clean conditions now that we have mashed our avocado and look at that beautiful creaminess people 
So this is a perfect type of situation that you can, of course, um, have at home with your favorite glass of beverage. Let's just put beverage out there uh, because we never know who might be drinking what. And I'm quite, quite a fan of, you know, a little bit of a mix of this and that in something bubbly. But I'm not going to give too much away because the focus is, of course, avocados today. Now over to our original mixing bowl, which was this one, of course. Remember, we've got our two cups of unsweetened almond milk in there, as well as our butter beans. Our butter beans sort of also acts as a thickener in this case. And this is just working phenomenally in there. I'm going to start mixing that. Make sure that you add all of the avocados that you get the most out of that for that reason it's always convenient to have one of these scrapers just close by because if you clean this bowl proper you've got all of the avocado in the sauce and a lot less to wash and throw away afterwards okay now that we've got our three key ingredients in a bowl. What are we going to add next and what is the health benefits thereof? Now we're also going to be adding one teaspoon of a good quality salt. I'm always a fan of my Oryx Desert Salt, like you can see it's sort of that one that we're going to be adding and I need to sort of explain why. Now you get good quality salts and not so good quality salts. Now the purpose of salt and the reason you add salt to recipes is to really enhance flavor. So always make sure you add a good quality one, otherwise it can actually ruin the taste of your dish instead of enhancing flavor now then next in line is one teaspoon of ground black pepper so we're just going to be grinding that in our mixing bowl and the reason why you add ground black pepper to food is a lot of you might say to me is all oh, it's to enhance flavor as well and i'm going to say yes you are right but ground black pepper is a phenomenal way to prepare your body to help your body absorb good quality nutrients and remember currently we're only working with good quality ingredients so you would want your body to be able to absorb all of the goodness i mean we've got our butter beans we've got our unsweetened almond milk we've got a phenomenal creamy viavi avocado and um, we've got our salt and now we've added our ground black pepper but we're almost done people see it is as easy and that and i promise you this is not going to disappoint so give this a quick little stir to make sure everything is mixing Remember, like I said, the butter beans is there at the end of the day to make sure that this sauce is going to thicken up and be that beautiful creamy sauce that you would want in a tapa situation. Now, very old school back in the day, they used to deep fry things. I, I, I tend to say, well, let's recreate what is out there and make it new and fresh because we are in 2020 after all, people. So over to our next ingredient. It is one teaspoon and let's add an extra one because it is close to winter. We are in currently in lockdown. COVID is a bit of a situation. So let's boost our immune system by adding two teaspoons of crushed garlic. Antiviral, antifungal, a phenomenal ingredient that can literally just add to the sauce. And then over to our honey. Now, I'm quite a fan of cooking with honey, especially raw honey. It's antiviral, antifungal. It's also phenomenal anti-inflammatory. And it's a phenomenal sweetener as well. And I think I've said phenomenal about four times. And I, honey deserves four phenomenal, four out of four scores. So over to two tablespoons of our raw honey that we're going to add to this mix. Reason being, I always say, savory and sweet needs to get married and live happily ever after because the one do need the other one in order to enhance all the beautiful flavors that you have in this sauce or any other dish that you might be preparing at home so there goes tablespoon number one and tablespoon number two and now, now over to our herbs now for this recipe i thought let's go a little bit subtle and go for a teaspoon or maybe even two of oregano now oregano is one of our favorite herbs as well and um, it's got a whole lot of health benefits and i just think it's sort of got that mild sort of intense taste if that's sort of a way that you can explain because it really just gives the platform to the vrv avocado to just really come to life so for that reason we are going to add two teaspoons of your oregano to our mix as well now this is quite if i can maybe just show you it is sort of a, a light green herb like you can say see there and it is found in a lot of mediterranean dishes for those of you that's maybe never cooked with it before it really is just one of those things i always have 
in my pantry. Now over to our chili flakes. Now again, people, we are boosting immune systems. It is COVID-19. Some of you are still in lockdown and a lot of you is at work. So what are we going to be adding next? A half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Uh, it's a phenomenal, one of my favorite ingredients to immune boosting, like I say, and all in more reason to be adding it to this recipe. If you're not a fan of a little bit of a bite, you can sort of exclude it, but I won't encourage you to because half a teaspoon is not enough to really give you that too much of a, a zing in the sauce but it really is going to just enhance all the flavors so do add for a half a teaspoon of that as well and then people that is as easy as that have you written down all the ingredients because you need to go and try this at home recreate it and upload your image to of course your facebook page as well as uh, your instagram tag the RV avocado and myself Isel Hoffman last time chef on Facebook as well as Isel Hoffman on Instagram so that you can stand a chance to, to win that phenomenal hamper of over 7,000 Rand and it includes a phenomenal uh, leather apron it's a customized one lots of Yavi goodies from cell phone covers uh, you get some caps I think these are uh, t-shirts in there uh, you get my cookbook called mindful eating that is currently available on the shelf or your closest bookstore uh, you can also download the e-copy of course if you did not win the sample so yes there's always that little silver lining around every cloud but also people you get to stand a chance to win a masterclass a one-on-one -on -one masterclass with myself so I can teach you some of the tricks of the trade if you know as a chef and as someone that has been struggling with a lot of health conditions that might just be the best price that you've won this year so far because let's be honest there's two things that money can't buy the one is your health and the second one is your time so if you're gonna be start investing some time in your health I can promise you it would be the best investment that you would be making in 2020 now back to our sauce in the mixing bowl over here I am mixing all of my ingredients together like you can see beautiful colors you can see the oregano sort of getting stuck on the sides of the mixing bowl and that is okay because remember we are going to be pouring this into the pot and onto the braai or onto the stove and then you can cook it for as long as you like because the longer you cook it the more intense and thick the sauce is just gonna be if you feel like maybe you're making it now and you've got some guests only arriving a little bit later you can sort of thin it out again by adding as little as a dash of hot water and there you have it so now all that is left to do is we're gonna be pouring this to our pots, like we maybe do it like that, just like that. And like I said, I'm going to start up this fire and start a bit of a party uh, because um, Weber, you know, this phenomenal little gas bride only takes 10 minutes to heat up, and from there you can sort of you know regulate the temperature and keep it sort of on a, like a, the whole keep your dish warm situation and that is currently with us being in winter but cooking and having fun and spending good quality time with your father is all about this father's day so from my side my name is Isel Hoffman I'm a lifestyle chef I will be posting phenomenal photos of this dish afterwards so you can get an idea of how to style yours at home Good luck, stay safe, wash those hands, eat those vegetables and people be on the lookout for VRV Avocado because VRVs is only still available on the shelf for a couple of weeks and then you're going to have to wait all the way till next year to get your hands on these creamy babies. So from my side, like I said, have a fantastic blessed weekend. Till next time, cheers.